My soul thirsts for God, for the living God, Psalm 42, verse 2. Driving to the beach once, we saw a sign spray painted onto a wall saying COVID-19 is a hoax. It proves an important point, doesn't it? New ideas are not always better. They're not always true. Well, look, believing there is no God is called atheism, and it's a fairly new idea as well. There were very few atheists until around 300 years ago. But even today, although there are a lot of atheists in our country, which can unsettle us, only around 7% of the world agree with them. Put that another way, 93% of people today believe that there is or there might be some kind of God. That's good to remember, isn't it, when we feel so few. But even amongst those who say there is no God, there are many still who believe in fate. The idea that their life is planned and that things happen for a reason. People talk of the universe telling them something or throwing something at them when life gets hard. But think about it, if the universe has just come about by chance, it can't do that any more than a, a block of wood can. No, what we're seeing is that even those who claim there is no God, uh, brought up in a country where that's the assumption, they can't shake off the sense that there really is, that their life is being governed. In a previous Take 5, we heard C.S. Lewis talk of a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy, that like hunger or thirst is evidence the thing desired exists. A, a desire not just for heaven, it's a desire for God who reigns there too. An awareness, even in those who try to ignore it, that there really is an amazing being ru ruling over all things. Yet despite this, people still don't believe. The Bible's book of Romans says this is because they suppress the truth by their wickedness. Romans 1 18 and on. It sounds a bit harsh doesn't it but when you think about it people do push away the idea that there is a God so that they can live as they please or feel superior to religious people or fit in with their friends and this is serious because deep down their instincts tell them there is a personal and powerful and a moral God even if they won't admit it to themselves. You know, as we've seen, people show concern over suffering and death as if they are somehow wrong. They aspire to selflessness and justice as if they're not just preferences. And they sense that there is something at work behind the scenes of the universe that they're dependent on. We might say that the things that come with there being a God are, are sort of hardwired into who we are. Now adding the fact that the overwhelming majority believe in a God anyway and the best explanation, the most reasonable explanation is that a God must actually exist who's needed for our lives to add up. Have you ever tried to fit a square shape in a round hole? When it doesn't fit no amount of squeezing, pushing will help. You have to accept you've got it wrong and pick up the right piece. In the same way, the idea that there is no God just doesn't fit with what people feel and how we know we should live. And so we need to pick up the right bit, which is belief in a God who's actually there.